Hi everyone, welcome to Mind of the Matter, the podcast where we dive deep into the power of mind and explore how can it transform your life. I'm Luna, your guide on this journey to mental wellness and personal growth. Let's go. So, guys, this is the first episode ever of my podcast and I'm actually really nervous and excited at the same time. Creating a podcast has been a dream of mine for such a long time and I still can't believe that I'm here really doing this, recording this podcast for you. So, uh, let's go right to the topic of the episode, which is, you probably have read the title of the video, but the theme on the first episode is walking. So, what are we going to talk about today? First of all, I'm going to tell you why I decided to choose this uh, topic for my first episode of the podcast. And also, I'm going to tell you about physical and mental benefits of walking. Also, I'm going to give you some tips on how to walk properly and also how to choose the right time of the day to walk. So uh, feel free to skip the portions of the video where you're not interested in and go straight to the part of the video that you are most curious about. I will leave timestamps probably in the comments below. So uh, feel free to use it. So first of all, I'm going to tell you why I decided to choose this topic. Uh, well. Basically, when I was brainstorming about what uh, should I film an p- episode about, what do I really want to talk about, basically I wanted to talk about something what I truly know about quite a lot in a practical way. And also I want to bring you some uh, researches uh, that will show the benefits of walking from a scientific way. But I'm going to make this point that I'm not an expert, I'm not a doctor, I'm not studying right now anything related to biology. So uh, I'm going to read a lot from my notes today. Um, I, f- I really hope you can forgive me for this because I am really afraid what I might lose some important uh, details. So the only aim of this video is to give you inspiration, to give you motivation to go out and walk. And if you're not a fan of walking, uh, to give you some reasons, some proper arguments why you should like to walk, why sh- why you should actually walk. And if you are actually a fan of walking but haven't been going outside for quite a long time, I really hope this uh, podcast, this episode will be a great motivation for you to finally get back on track and go outside. The only reason why I decided to choose walking as the theme of this video is not only because that is something what I personally very, very like, but also because I actually got inspired by this book. Uh, this book is actually French. Uh, the author of this book is Lauren Gounel. I really hope that I <laughs> say it right. Um, and I failed to find the English version of this book anywhere on the internet. Um, but I have seen some people translating the title of this book as The Day. Uh, then I was taught how to live. But basically, if you translate this from Russian title, it means like the day then I learned how to live. Uh, but I guess it's, there's no big difference, right? But basically, this book is about a man who was told one day that he's going to die by the end of the year. And for his book, he basically changes his perception of life and he learns how to live a simpler but happier life. Yeah, I definitely recommend this book. But there's a certain part of this book that inspired me to talk about walking today. And I really want to read you this part of this book. So basically, since I couldn't find an English translation of this book, I had to translate it from Russian to English myself. So the translation may be not very accurate or pleasant to listen to, but but you will get the idea of what I'm talking about. When you wander without purpose, time is slower. The culture of immediacy and super fast reactions in which we exist makes us feel as we do not exist anywhere. When we walk, we are immersed again in a time that nature, the universe, the space, lives in. This is the time of life. A time in which you reconnect with yourself. On this beautiful evening, the air was sweet and gentle. And Jonathan felt light and joyful. The feeling of gratitude, what he usually felt during his walks, returned to him. Gratitude for life and the beauty of the world, for the scent of the wind and beautiful sunset light when the sun slowly slips to the horizon before disappearing from view 
the old warrior seems distant, as did the old unfulfilled desires, the old loses and disappointments. Only the feeling of being alive remained important. For how long he had not known this feeling, but now it had come to life, and for this he felt eternally grateful to life. When I was reading this part of this book, I could relate to almost every single word about what I actually feel when I'm walking. So basically, this made me think that it would be a great idea to actually create an episode about walking. Because, um, see, I have been on this journey of self-improvement for quite a long time. And in almost every single YouTube video, in almost every single podcast about how you can transform your life, how to feel better every day, etc., you will hear people talking about walking. But they just tell this as a fact, like, if you want to clear your mind, go outside and walk. If you want to make you feel more productive, go outside and walk, etc. But I actually never question why is it actually so effective why does walking hold so much power how is it possible because walking is one of the simplest actions that a human body can do we basically learn how to walk at the age of like one and we've been walking every single day you know but after my research i actually have found a lot of scientifically proved uh, benefits of walking and now we are going right into them uh, there are some basic benefits of walking where you have probably heard before maybe from your school course of biology or you just know it from your life experience that walking um, fights weight gain improves your stamina makes your muscles more toned um, actually and also it strengthens your muscles and bones also it can improve your mood and uh, helps you with your creativity this last point you probably know from your own experience i guess and this actually happened so many times to me when you know i was actually struggling with finding a solution to a certain problem or i couldn't came up for an idea uh to like i don't know anything like my project or maybe my school essay or something and just the moment when i go out and start working this idea or this solution just naturally come to my mind and that's actually a bit annoying sometimes like i would say because you feel like oh my god i've been sitting down and brainstorming literally torturing myself for like hours and basically everything what i have to do is just relax my mind and go outside but that's true that truly works for me and i guess for a lot of people as well probably for you too i'm really curious if you ever had this moment of epiphany when you were just basically walking so please write in a comment if you ever had been in this kind of situation but also uh walking speeds up your digestion and this this is something what i have been told millions of times when i was growing up by my parents by my grandparents by just like random people but i never believed that because i truly believe that when you're walking you kind of strain your body and if you do not do this and you just relax your body and just just lay down it allows your body to digest better as you know you do not distract your body from digestion that is not true at all uh, actually it is better to walk when you're trying to digest a big meal and actually it is i guess good to walk after every meal even if you are not completely full next benefit was actually a big surprise to me but i'm so glad that i came across this article and i found out that actually walking helps tame a sweet tooth a 15 minute walk can cure cravings for chocolate and even reduce the amount of chocolate you eat in stressful situations and this was proved by the studies from the university of exeter and actually i am such a big sweet lover and you know when i was a kid I basically not a kid, like more like in my early teenager years, I could actually eat a whole pair of chocolate like once, you know, like 15 minutes. And I think like physically I still can do this now, but I do not have this craving for this chocolate because back when I was younger, I just needed this chocolate. I couldn't go a single day without eating a whole pair of chocolate. Um, but now I realize that, well, actually the solution was quite easy. Maybe I should have walked more because when I was younger, I wasn't really walking that a lot. So next time I'm going to test this when I will have a big craving for chocolate. I will try to just go outside and see if it actually helps. Next benefits are more health related. So I'm going to read this from my notes. 
uh, walking reduces the risk of developing breast cancer. Did you know about this? I didn't know really. Also, walking is a joint pain. Uh, so basically, it, it is this joint pain by lubricating them and strengthening the muscles that support them. Also, walking boosts your immune function. A study of over 1,000 men and women found that those who walked at at least 20 minutes a day, at least 5 days a week, had 43% fewer sick days than was who exercise once a week or less. And if they did get sick, it was for shorter duration. And I know that walking even 20 minutes a day, 5 days a week, may be impossible for you if you're busy life. But I just wanted you to give your 100%. So if your 100% is to walk uh, every day for two hours, then it would be great if you do this. But if you're 100% um, to walk only 50 minutes, maybe six times a week, uh, if you do this, this is your 100% for sure. Also, walking reduces anxiety and depression. Uh, the rhythmic pace of walking can soothe the mind, reducing stress levels and lessening feelings of anxiety and depression. So basically, those were the all benefits I wanted to tell you about, but I'm pretty sure that these benefits are not all. And you can find a lot, a lot more uh, about benefits of walking, so feel free to make your own research. And if you will find out about some interesting facts, what I have covered uh, in this episode, please leave a comment about this below. Did you know that there is a right and the wrong way to walk? Yeah, this actually was a surprise to me as well, as I actually thought that walking is so easy. How can you walk wrong? Uh, everyone knows how to walk, right? <laughs> but, uh, so, but if you are going out intentionally for a walk, I would like you to listen to the following advice. So first of all, when you're walking, you should stand tall. Your chin should be parallel to the ground and your ears sh should be aligned with your shoulders also you should keep your eyes keep your gaze straight forward do not look down as this uh, can affect your posture as well and talking about posture this is probably the most important thing that you should really uh, care of when you're walking uh, so when you're walking lengthen your back uh, it will slouching leaning back or forward hunting because all of these can put stress uh, on your back muscles. Also keep your shoulders down and back. Uh, your core muscles also play an important role uh, than your walking and help you move more easily. As you take each step, focus on tightening and engaging your core muscles by pulling your belly button in towards your spine. This can help you maintain balance and stability. It can also relieve stress and pressure on your back as you walk. Also, as you walk, gently swing your arms back and forth at your sides. Also, you should maintain heel-to-toe gait. So when you walk, you should put your heel first at the ground and then s gently go to your toe. And so the next rule is something what I am guilty of so bad. But you should never wear a back on your one shoulder uh, when you're walking. And I actually already have experiences the consequences of walking with the back on your only one shoulder. And uh, I know that a lot of people have, have the same problem as me. So I'm right-handed and I can carry my back only on my right shoulder. So when I'm trying to carry it on my left one, it just feels uncomfortable. I just can't do this. So I've been trying to go outside more with my backpack because the backpack actually balances the weight of your back. Uh, to your buff shoulders and your back while when you're carrying a tote bag you're basically putting all of the pressure all of the weight on just one shoulder walking in the morning versus walking in the evening which is better so basically the ultimate answer is that there's basically no answer to this question as walking in the evening has its benefits such as walking in the morning uh, but the first point what I want to make is that you should probably avoid walking during the part of the day with the strongest uh, sunlight exposure but if you have to go outside please make sure to wear your cap or any type of hat and cover your shoulders or any sensitive parts of your skin also make sure to wear your sunscreen as well but let's talk about why is it good to walk in the morning first of all exposure to natural light in the morning has several benefits Morning walks can kickstart your metabolism, helping your body burn calories more efficiently throughout the day. 
This early boost in energy can also enhance productivity and alertness, setting a positive tone for the rest of the day. Exposure to natural light in the morning helps regulate circadian rhythms, which can improve sleep quality and mood. Also, physical activity in the morning can en enhance cognitive function and concentration. The increased blood flow and oxygen to the brain can improve mental clarity and focus, making it an excellent way to prepare for a busy day. And also, the next part is for the girls who live in a big city, just as me. Air pollution levels are generally lower in the morning compared to later in, in the day. Walking in the morning can thus provide a cleaner, fresh environment for your exercise, particularly in urban areas with higher pollution levels. But walking in the evening has its benefits as well. Let's go into them. When you walk in the evening, it helps you sleep better, first of all. Evening walks can uh, help decompress and relax after a long day, making it easier to fall asleep and enjoy deeper, more restful sleep. Physical activity can help regulate your body's natural sleep-wake cycle, leading to improved sleep quality. Also, evening walks can be more sociable as it's a convenient time for family and friends to join in. Walking with a partner or group can make the activity more enjoyable and can strengthen social bonds, providing additional motivation to stay active. So, which one is better is definitely all up to you. So basically, which time of the day is the best to walk is a question where you should find an answer to yourself. Find a time of the day that aligns the best with your daily routine and makes walking more convenient and enjoyable for you. So basically, this is all for today's episode. I have covered only the basic things about walking but please believe me what walking is such a powerful thing and i truly believe that everyone should implement walking in their daily life so thank you so much for joining me today i hope that you and i will spend an amazing time together i enjoyed so much creating this episode so i really hope that i'll meet you in my next one if you liked and enjoyed today's episode don't forget to subscribe to mind of the matter podcast see you soon bye also, remember that your mind is your greatest asset. Keep cultivating positivity, resilience, and growth in your life. Until next time, stay focused, stay mindful, and keep embracing the power of your mind.